This picture over here presents a view of the components of a computer system. There are four components that are visible here. So we have the computer hardware, we have the operating system, then we have these application programs shown over here, and then we have these several users. The hardware in a typical computer basically consists of, uh, as you would know, this consists of, let's say, the CPU, uh, then you have the main memory or the RAM, and then you have uh, various uh, input-output devices. So these are popular computing resources in a computer system. The typical application programs that you'll find in most uh, computers many users use are, let's say, uh, some text editors or maybe word processor programs, maybe some spreadsheets. Uh, a compiler, maybe uh, some web browser and so forth. Um, so these use, these uh, application programs, they basically define the ways in which these resources, the underlying hardware resources are used to solve the user's computing problems. Now, the operating system is basically responsible for controlling how the hardware is accessed and shared and the operating system coordinates the hardware's use among the various application programs for the various users shown over here. So in some more details, this picture illustrates how the operating system acts as an interface between the underlying computer hardware and the users.